What do you think? What do you think? One more Marco video? One more Marco video? Yes. <laughs>
was recorded. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but he's he's absolutely shredding his instrument on on this one. Um, and and killing his bow, man. Th this poor bow. We'll 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 get we'll get into that when we get there. And of course, Troy is kicking it. Troy is always good. And Yuka, of course. Okay, so let's let's jump into this lyrically here for a minute. Um, so the treetops, the chimneys, the snowbed stories, winter gray wildflowers, those meadows of heaven, wind in the wheat. I mean, these, this is just you know as as we often have with with Tuomas, um, a uh, it's it's a flurry a flurry of imagery and. Um, uh, pretty imagery, but a flurry of imagery. This, it, it's almost like we're we're getting a, a big snapshot, a big landscape of uh, mood, and he does this a lot. Um, in his writing, where where initially he sets us up with a landscape of environment, um, a railroad across waters, the scent of grandfatherly love, blue bayous. I would imagine. I mean, that "Blue Bayou" is a an older tune. Um, it, it's almost kind of the way the way he's having a memory through an older man's eyes, and part of that is relevant because we know we know part of Imaginarium is this idea of an old man kind of looking back on his life in in the stories that that sort of breathed his, his the experience of his life into into reality uh blue bayous december's moon through a dragonfly's wings um uh, that's just a cool image um and where's the wonder where's the awe where's dear alice knocking on the door where's the trap door that takes me there where's the where the reel is shadowed by a mad marsh hare. Um, you know, it's this, it's this desire. It's this, this kind of weariness of age and, you know, where, where are, where, where nothing moves me anymore. It's like, and, and I think, you know, many of us can, can relate to, to being in those, those feelings, those those places of ennui that that we face sometimes, um, you know, where where it's like you know, I just want something to move me. Um, where where's the crazy? Where where's the the trap door that I can go through and and be in in Wonderland where where I can escape from this reality? And you know, when we're coming back into the song. Where's the wonder? Where's the awe? Where are the sleepless nights I used to live for? Before the years take me, I wish to see the lost in me. Um, then, of course, I want my tears back. I want my tears back now. We'll break this down so we don't we don't have to interrupt that moment in the song. But you know, it's that where where are all of these things? You know, it's just this blankness, and I want I want my tears. But I want to. Feel. I want to be moved to emotional extremes. I want that back. That's this one way to look at it. Of course, there's also the fact that I want all of those that time that I've wasted 
on tears. I want, you know, I want my ability to feel back because I've wasted that ability to feel so much that, that now I'd give anything to, to feel again. And I, I think that's kind of where he's coming from here, you know, in both, in both meanings that I want the ability to feel back and all of those things, all those tears that I've wasted on things that really weren't worth the tears that I shed on them. I want those tears back from those experiences. And I'd, I'd like that now, please. Thank you. Um, let's jump back into it. And I love how the, the line is, it's so demanding musically. It's just so, it's demanding. I want them back now. Okay, before we get back into... Um, the um the chorus again um a ballet on a grove um still growing young all alone um you know it, it's it's this idea of not not relating um of disconnection um a rag doll a best friend you know again imagery you know i when i think back when i think of ragdoll i think of something old and used and still loved but but somewhat worse for wear and of course the voice of mary costa um mary costa for anyone who may not know was the is an operatic soprano uh, was she i no i think she's i think she's still alive she was just honored recently um operatic soprano she was the voice of sleeping beauty way back in in disney's 1959 sleeping beauty one of the the first um big disney musicals and very often you know that that once upon a dream is is the song that that you you know i i know you i i walked with you once upon a dream that might be where she's talking a little bit of the ballet on a grove in a way um, because, you know, she's sort of dancing in the, in the cartoon, she's sort of dancing, you know, in a grove when she's overheard by the prince. Um, beautiful voice. I mean, Mary Costa was one of the, at a very young age, one of the premier, uh, sopranos sang with, with, with every major company ever. And for many people, the, the voice of the Disney the, the original Disney princess that that soprano is is indicative of of Mary Costa. We also, of course, know of Thomas's love of cartoons and of Donald Duck and of Disney and of sopranos <laughs> as a whole. So you know that it, it, it all kind of works on on so many levels. Um, you know, and and yeah i get the image and 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 i know it's it's me putting it on and remember y'all as i say every time these are just my interpretations this is just how how all of this stuff moves me there are a gazillion other interpretations that are possible out there and great poetry does that great poetry allows for lots of different possible interpretations depending on the listener who is experiencing the work um, and, and Tuomas is, is unquestionably uh, uh, an outstanding poet, as well as an outstanding composer, musician, uh, you name it. So it, it's, uh, it, it evokes in me this uh, almost an idea of like an attic and, you know, just all of the going through all of these different things that, that were part of creating the reality 
as you see the world now. Um, you know, the, uh, the ballet on the grove, the, uh, growing young, all alone. And I, I think part of that is, is, is diving into the memories, being alone and yet going back in time through memory and, and yet isolated. So as you were experiencing that, that sort of regression in terms of, um, growing young, going back into earlier memories, you're, you're alone while doing that. You're not reminiscing, you're doing that, uh, in isolation. Um, a ragdoll, a best friend, the voice of Mary Costa, all of that is, is part of the, in my view, is part of that diving back into the past and, and going back into one's memories and growing in a sense, younger through memory and yet doing that in isolation. And of course, that brings us back into our chorus. Ampu's like digging it. <laughs> Guy looks like one of us. Two of us is like gone. Okay, I'm happy. Oh, there we go. Here's here's the violin, right? And look at that bow, man. He's killing his poor bow. This thing is like losing hair like faster than a commercial for Rogaine. And of course, you know, as in any live Nightwood concert, the crowd is, is so there for it. And you know, this is, you know, this is Floor's dance number. <laughs> oh, of course, we gotta have the pyro, the windmills, everything. It's all there. Oh. <laughs> you see the bow and it's like shedding. Surprise there any if there's any hair left on the bow. It's all there, and we get a violin that's and a violin player killing his bow. And um, I mean, really, really, it's 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 killer. And the joy of everyone on stage is palpable and contagious as always. Folks, thank you so much for being with me as I sort of deconstruct this um, this music and. Um, navigate my way through the the dreamscape that is nightwish if you like what we do here please send us a like send me a like um it helps out a lot subscribe to the channel that helps out even more um leave a comment even if you don't like what we do here leave a comment at the bottom express yourself i learn from uh from the feedback that i get um to be able to make better content for you um and as always you know Remember, your words have power, so choose them wisely. Take care of your mind, body, and spirit. It's so important. 
right now to find a way to uh, to be kind to yourself. Uh, we're we're still isolated um, during this this experience that we're all sort of facing worldwide together and yet apart. Um, it's so important that you're kind to yourself and you take care of your mind, body, and spirit because if you don't, who who's going to? Um, and uh, again, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for joining me on this journey, and I'll see you in the next video.